Hey everybody, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one of our mini facial, uh, that was before this one. So this would be part two. And I don't, I won't really do any introductions. Hopefully you watched part one. We're gonna get right to it. I have milk magnesia on my face. I got to that step in the facial and this was just a mini facial. I'm going to go on now and just wipe off the milk and magnesia. And I love to use warm water and just work it around and get it off because I will tell you there are times that I will look in the mirror and go, oh my gosh, I have a little milk and magnesia on. Or Kent and I will go for a walk and he'll say, oh, you got a little milk and magnesia on your nose. Um, use your magnifying mirror. And again, I love to use warm water, just like so. And I'm not gonna worry if you guys see some milk of magnesia on my nose or whatever, you can all giggle at the camera. I'm just going to move on. After this, even though we already put on apple cider vinegar after extractions, I'm going to go ahead and put on my toner. Now, whatever toner you're using at home, I love spray on. It shouldn't come away with a dirty cotton ball. This should really prepare your skin, make your pH at a perfect level so that any of your actives are able to penetrate better. And I'll just spray it on like so. Uh, I will also put on my pH toner, but I'm going to try to keep this really simple and tight. So apple cider vinegar toner, I'll put on our pH toner. The apple cider vinegar digressing kills more bacteria and fungus. The pH toner is going to set my skin at a perfect pH. After I do that, I may put on my monostat if I'm having any bumpiness, redness. Uh, women who wear foundation have a lot of redness around their noses or on, the, um, on their foreheads. They have lots of irritation or what I believe to be fungal. Uh, if you've been told you have eczema or rosacea or psoriasis, number one overly diagnosed skincare diseases, and many of you may have it, but I have had people have it all over their body, use Monistat, do what I tell them, and it's gone. So Monistat 7 Classic, we'll show it over here. I might put that on my face. I might put Persigel on my face. Um, typically, if I know I'm going to be outside and I'm going to be putting my mask on, I like to use Persigel every day. I will tell you, there are a lot of studies showing that benzoyl peroxide will counteract any vitamin C that you put on your face. So maybe just put this around the areas you need it. I used to say put it everywhere to be preventative, but if you wanna put it on some of the areas that you need it and then take and put your actives on afterwards. Uh, so once I've done that, I lately, morning and night, have been doing, I love this Hanalei lip scrub. You all know that I love it. I've been taking the lip scrub. If you have something at home you want to use, a little brown sugar, a little olive oil and sugar, get that on your lips. My lips have been so dry. Uh, it's still very dry here in Southern California. In fact, we're still having a few fires. And I'll just let that sit on my lips with the sugar. You can probably see the sugar right now. After that, I want to massage my skin. I wanna get all the blood flowing. You can use something as simple as olive oil. It has squalene. Don't let anyone make fun of you for using olive oil. I've seen comments on other people's channels or other communities where they say, well, I'm not putting olive oil on my face or baking soda. I save that for cooking. Why spend the money on things when you know olive oil is a fantastic antioxidant for the skin? Uh, you can also use any favorite oil that you have. Um, we hope to come out with our peaches oil in the next six months, and that's what this is. But I'm gonna use some olive oil for you just to show you. You can also use your moisturizer. If you're a peach, you can use your classic moisturizer at this point. Um, but I wanna put actives on after this. So this is purely about getting the blood flowing. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and I'm just going to work up my face and my chest and really get that blood flowing, just like so. Hopefully you're not hearing, there's a big truck going by right now, forgive us. And get it all over and then you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the sugar because it is getting into my oil a little bit. That feels good. And work up your body. If you've seen me do my gua sha or my microcurrent, it's getting all the blood flowing. Work up your body, work up your face. You can use the palms of your hands like so. 
getting that blood flowing, touching the different points on your skin uh, that help with uh, blood flow. You can drain underneath your eyes any toxins that you might be carrying from allergies and just work those out and down. This is the only time I'd like you to go down on your face. And again, just work up again. Get into those muscles. Don't be afraid to get deep into your muscles and get that blood flowing, okay? If you want to do gua sha now, you can do that. Uh, you can look back on a video. I don't want to make this too long because I know my number one, the beginning was too, a little long. But you can see how nice and pink my face is. So, just like so, working everything up. You can also do facial yoga. You can get into your, uh, your eyelids and you can really work that up as well. Just pushing it up and then pulling up to the hairline, pushing up and pulling up to the hairline, getting everything working. We have 42 muscles in our face, 43 with the neck, and you wanna work all of them. They're all interconnected, get that blood flowing. You can do tapomint, getting all the oxygenation to your skin cells, getting everything moving. You don't need to use a little microcurrent machine if you can't afford it. Um, save your money and go and spend it on a professional facial. Another thing you can do are some facial yoga moves. I've showed you a few. There's a couple new ones I thought I'd show you. This is called fish face. And you make a fish face and then you lift up your head and you hold it for about 20 seconds. So here we go. Mm -hmm. And everything stays nice and tight. You hold that for 20 seconds. I'll show you again. It makes everything tight here. It gets your cheeks nice and tight. Um, you can also hold your lips very flat so that you don't make any wrinkles above your lips. And if you are someone with wrinkles during these massages, really work that area. Get it nice and firm. But you can hold it tight and then blow fish. Watch this. And you'll hold that for 20 seconds. So those are two more yoga moves or facial yoga moves. And if you want me to do a whole uh, video on facial yoga, I can do that as well. But there are plenty of facial yoga experts out there that are showing you different things. So the whole point is get everything massaged and clean. Now you've cleaned your skin, you've done any extractions, you've massaged, and I'm going to put on my vitamin C. I love to use my vitamin C. I actually use mine morning and night. I do do it with my retinols. I do do it with our Luminous. And you'll work it all over your face. I like to get it all over. I had gotten a spider bite here a couple weeks ago. It's already almost gone. Uh, don't let people tell you because of your dark skin you'll have marks for the rest of your life. It's just not true. And you'll see me that I'm working the vitamin C into my face. If you have fair skin, you can lighten your scars as well. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. Now I'm going to put on my Luminous. And for those of you that like things like niacinamide, uh, our retinol has that. If you want, um, this has daisy flower. Uh, it is going to help to lighten naturally. Licorice, I am all about using natural things. I don't like synthetics. Uh, I've had people tell me that, you know, synthetic is man-made and they can be better. I'm all about natural when natural is used correctly because for me and my body, I know that I wanna be very mindful of what I'm putting on my body and in my body. We know that things get into the bloodstream and I want to be as healthy as I can. So I'm not only mindful about what I eat, but I'm mindful about what I put on my body. So I've done my vitamin C, I've done my Luminous, I've worked it up as you saw. And now I'm going to put on my moisturizer. Uh, look for a moisturizer with pure antioxidants, hyaluronic acid, uh, vitamins A, C, and E, and work that up as well. Work it around. You want peptides, natural peptides that will change your skin. Again, pure 
antioxidants. If you're curious about peaches, ask me anything, go online. I, we try to make sure that we uh, describe it or the descriptions are excellent. And uh, we also list our full ingredients list. We don't hide anything from you. Work it up. Now, today I know that I am going to go for a walk. So I will actually put on my sunscreen. I am absolutely loving this Color Science Glow. I also love a zinc oxide nano from Trader Joe's. I'm all about zinc oxide. Uh, zinc oxide's number one for me. Titanium dioxide would be number two if you mix them together. And then any chemicals after that, I'm really not comfortable with on my skin. Uh, on darker skin, it can cause a chemical reaction with the heat and it can make things a little bit more brown and it does the same thing on fair skin. Um, also, American sunscreens are not quite as higher standard as say something in Australia. So be very mindful of the sunscreens that you're using. I'll put my sunscreen on. Um, I will then uh, not put anything else on my face. No blush, no foundation. I am not going to mess up all the actives and how clean my skin is. And right now my skin is just, you know, loving itself. It's breathing. It's happy. Uh, it's able to bite off bacteria and fungus. It's able to build collagen. It's able to get the blood flowing. It's not sitting there suffocating and having to push out acne or any impurities. Again, speaking in layman's terms. I will then just, if you want to do your eyes and do your lips, I've wiped off my lip uh, scrub. You can put a little lip liner on if you'd like to, put a little lip gloss. Uh, I forgot my lip liner. Just put a little bit on. This is just one that I love from uh, Sephora. It's just a really pretty color that I enjoy. Uh, I will put some eyeliner on to really get my, my eyes uh, popping because I don't wear a lot of makeup. You can just put eyeliner under your eyes like so. I uh, put my eyeliner over the top of my eyes and I put my eyeliner over the bottom uh, eyelashes of my eyes. Uh, use a clean Q-tip if you get anything underneath that you want to remove and really rub that gently. Uh, one thing I forgot, my eye cream, and I just noticed it, forgive me. Always put an eye cream on. I absolutely disagree with people who say eye creams aren't important. It's the value of the eye cream. Does it have a vitamin K in it to help with any darkness? Does it have licorice in it to help with any lightness and bouncing off or any vitamin E? I am an advocate of eye, uh, advocate of eye cream. Moisturizers are made for your skin, but yes, the under eye is a delicate area. So I may not want some of those things under my eyes, but you do you and what makes you comfortable. And a good eye cream should last you a year or more. So invest in an eye cream. Uh, I will then do my eyelashes. I actually already did them. And I wanted to share with all of you, uh, someone had told me to put on an eyelash primer. I purchased this one. I thought I had my glasses over here. It's from Lancome. Um, it's pretty goopy, but I think it has to be to get your eyelashes primed and keep them up. I wasn't happy with how small this container was. I think I paid $15 or $16 for it. That's why I don't love to shop online. I'm so bad about it, but I'm learning. Um, but I do love the eyelash primer, and I'm forgetting who told me to use it. I do my, I crimp my eyelashes with my uh, eyelash curler. I'm, I, I'm too nervous to use a heated one yet. I put my primer on and then I use a Pacifica uh, mascara. I love cruelty free brands and brands that I know don't have a lot of junk in them. I also uh, really am loving, oh and here's the box for the um, the primer. It's Lancome. It's called uh, Sills Booster XL and I don't know, I, I'm, for, for the money, maybe it was okay that it was so small. I'm loving these Bobbi Brown little eyeshadow sticks. Uh, have fun with your eyes, play with your eyes. There's so many people showing you how to do makeup on, um, on these different channels. I'm not one of them, but just have fun with it. Uh, I love when something is soft and smooth and it feels creamy. That just works for me. 
and I don't use a lot of makeup, ladies. I just don't. I love keeping my eyebrows looking good. You can put some eyebrow pencil on if you'd like. You can brush up your eyebrows. I am constantly cleaning up my eyebrows and trying to make them look good. Uh, you can make your eyes look higher by really giving yourself a nice arch. You can do that with um, eye pencil as well by just working it and giving yourself a nice arch. Get your, the point of what I'm saying is get your eyes looking beautiful, get your lips looking beautiful, and don't put anything on your face on your facial day. When it's not your facial day, I still don't wear any foundations or concealers. You can use a pretty powder bronzer. Don't do anything creamy. To me, that is like foundation. You can use a pretty blush. Uh, a couple that I love is a Bobbi Brown um, bronzer, and I love a blush by the same company, uh, Pacifica, and I also love one by Mineral Fusion. When we recommend foundations, try to find something that's natural. Try to find something with iron oxides in them that they use as pigments, but still, don't put them on every day. Let your skin breathe. The more that you cover up under your eye with concealers, the more that you put foundations on, the more that you put creamy eyeshadows on, the more they're going to discolor your skin. Look at the man in your life, and many times they don't have any of those issues. Uh, I hope this helped you. What I do uh, to do a little mini facial, to help you do a mini facial, afterwards just making your eyes pop, making your lips pop, uh, trying to keep your skin clean throughout the day. If I'm staying inside, unless it's a super sunny day, I'm likely not going to have sunscreen on. I know that that's unusual for many of you, but I hopefully am proof that I know what I'm talking about. I just want to let my skin breathe and I don't need those extra chemicals. Now, iron oxide is natural. If you feel good about having that on your face all day, go for it. But I am a huge advocate of wearing a hat outside. You will not see me outside, even on a cold day or in the rain, without a wide brimmed hat on. I hope this helped you. Uh, I hope that you know that you can have flawless, beautiful skin. Love the skin you're in. Love your sparkle. Love who you are. And if you have any comments or questions, just comment with love below. Please share these videos, subscribe and like, and I hope you stay beautiful naturally.